So, um, yeah, I don't know what to do because this is very boring. I already organized, started organizing. I hate how I can't flip the camera around. Started doing, like I reorganized that because during Portuguese class, all of my, um, all of my postcards fell. I don't know if anyone saw because we were on Zoom and I went to, down to pick it up and I hit my head really hard. And then after I hit my head, my volleyball like down there, I don't know if you can see it, it like started rolling. So then I like, I didn't run after it. I tried to get it. So I came back, I don't know. It was a chaotic Portuguese class because a lot of things happened and I don't really have anything to vlog about because my life is quite boring, especially since I've been on quarantine, but even even when I wasn't, I didn't do anything except for go to school, but yeah. Let's see. Okay, let's do a room tour without me ever getting up. So this right here is my desk. It looks very messy and like fingerprints. Oh my God, that bugs me. Yeah, so I'm gonna be cleaning that soon. Um, yeah, that's my desk, so computer where I'm working. This is filled with water because, I don't know, I'm just dumb and I put water in there. My scrunchie for, I don't know why that's there. Uh, Vaseline because my lips are very chapped. The This is a notebook because, well, I write. Those are pens because I like to write in different colors, which is not visible on this. Um, yeah. That is, oh my gosh, this is actually kind of cute. I don't know why I really like it. So I got this as like a present. I don't know, it was filled with like nail polish or something in it. But I just removed the nail polish and I put my pens in it. Because I don't know, it's kind of like cute. Valley, this is for you. This is my lawyer pad, but I'm writing medical stuff in it. Um. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> I'm like getting into this. But no, this is really boring and nobody's going to want to watch this. And the only person I'm even sending it to is like Valley because she said that. Oh my God, if I move, okay, so if I move this, all of that is gonna fall. So wait, what am I gonna do? Okay, hold on, put you there. I'm smart. No, I'm not smart, not at all, but it's okay. It's okay, we don't need to be smart. I'm gonna turn the lights on because I feel like it's very dark and yeah. Oh, that's um, that's a sticker to remind me to bring my volleyball uniforms in, which I still haven't. I don't think I have, at least. If I have, well, I'm dumb and don't remember that. I, geez. That I bought it. I don't know. That's um, a mirror piece. Um, that is my cat. Oh, I thought that was my cat. That's my blanket. Where's my cat? There. She's currently sleeping, and I don't know why she sleeps through me, like, doing all of these noises, and the only time I can wake her up from her sleep is when I play, like, an alarm. She'll, like, get all concerned. Um, that's a little mini cat that I actually have to hit on the head to turn the light on. Like, boom, boom. Yeah, it's very boring. Like, what the hell am I doing here? Um, my cat's water, my fan... Um, things that I have not hung yet, three of my many quotes, another quote thing that every basic white girl has, but whatever, my backpack just on the floor, um, yeah, oh yeah, I was gonna show you what's inside of the box, and then I just got sidetracked and tracked, I don't know how to say that, um, yeah, and all of that fell, I'm gonna fix that later, so this is kind of, okay, can you see? This is kind of cute because it's like two little girls um, sipping tea. I never sipped tea uh, with friends. I would always do that with my dolls and, and my cat. I would force my cat to have a tea party with me. But yeah, no, I never had friends to do that with. Oh my god, yes I did. I had tea with Sophia all the time. I'm so dumb. Okay, so inside of my little box... These are my jewelry. Okay, I'll go through each of them. I don't remember where I got them. Some were presents, some were, yeah. 
So this one my friend made for me before I left for Brazil. It's a, okay, I'll just hold it up like this. Oh my gosh, five minutes. This is going to be a very boring YouTube video, but okay. Um, so it has two little pearl balls and then across it's a choker. Okay, these earrings, these tiny, very, very tiny hoops that I used to wear all the time, but now don't. Um, I got them as a birthday present. Ah! Okay. Love how I told everyone I'm working when I'm really just vlogging now. Okay. This I got as a present... Um, yeah, birthday present a long time. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm missing three diamonds. I got it as a present from my, my friend. Uh, she said each heart represents one of us because it was like I had two people over for exchange and like an exchange program. And yeah, this, I don't know how to take it out. Okay, well, it's kind of, like, stuck. Okay, I think it's a necklace. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it's a necklace, right? Yeah. Um, I don't remember where I got that. Okay, I'm gonna put that back. Rally. You're gonna, um, I'm gonna know if you watch the entire video because I'm gonna say something. Okay, I don't know. What am I trying to say? Hold on. I'm trying to do something where I see if you watch the entire video and be like, did you watch the entire thing? And you probably be like, no, you're probably gonna say no. Okay, so this. It's, in, it's still in the bag. I don't know. It's still in the bag because I'm giving it to my sister. Um, it says Bombinius, where I went. Uh, yeah. You know where that is because I'm pretty sure you were there. Okay. Now I fit. Okay, now this box. Okay, this is going by so fast, but I feel like it's very boring. Um, some earrings. Ah. Oh, this is only earrings. I don't know if you can even see this. Okay. This is another necklace. I don't remember where I got it from. Okay, it's all tangled up. Yeah, I don't want to spend the entire video untangling it, so here. I think there's, yeah, two hearts and I don't know how it goes. Oh, I have a coin. It says 50, it's 50 cents from Ecuador. I don't know why I'm keeping this here. I guess I treasure it. Okay. Now, I have no idea what these are. These are like pearls, but there's nothing on the back. They look like they're supposed to be earrings, but like, okay, wait. I'm so confused. There's no thing to stick it in. So, are you ready? Like, look at that. They're like just. Okay. Well, I don't know. Okay, then. This is boring. See, this is why I would not make a good 
questionable because I have nothing to talk about. Oh, here's some more stuff. Um, jumbled up stuff. This is a volleyball necklace. It says volleyball, if you can read that. Um, I'm not 100% sure what this says. I know it's something with my mom. I have one and my mom has it. It says H-T-E-R and then on the bottom, mom. What? Brother, mother, mother, mom, no. Daughter and mom. Okay, yeah. Wow, so smart. That's all I have. Okay, it's better clothes because I messed this up. not closing properly. Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna move that there. This. One down. Down. This. Ta-da. Oh, you didn't even see any of that. You just saw me struggling. Um... These are all of my postcards and pictures. I have them all in a jumble together. They're either postcards I've received or postcards that I have not yet mailed out. Okay, this one, Philadelphia. I got this from Claire and Lauren. This one, have not sent out. Okay, most of these I have not sent out because I keep my other postcards somewhere else. Um, let's see, have not sent out, not sent out. Yeah, pretty much all of these I have not sent out. Plus, including my many cards from Brasilia. Um, let's go to the pictures. I don't know, one of these postcards smells bad. This? Is this on the Ferris wheel? No, it's on the Weston Hotel. That's me. That's Isa. That's my Sally. This was from a volleyball photo shoot. I look very young and very white. Um, yeah. That was, I think I was in like, I don't know when I was, how old I was. That is at a Mount Spikemore tournament. Eesh, my hair. Okay, just take a minute to admire that. Look at that craziness. Ew. Okay. Um, this is my team when we won first at Mount Spikemore. My mom and I biting a medal. That's Isa, my Sally and I again at the waterfall thingy. This is us again when we were there at 4 in the morning. We had to get there at 4 in the morning for our games. No, my game was at 5. This was at like 4.30. That's my parents and I. Oh, can't see. Parents and I. That's us again. They got medals later. They weren't done playing. This is us at the Weston again. Um, I am used to the cold. Marcelli from Rio. Obviously not, which is why she's being crazy this is us again and funny story right um right after we took this picture some homeless guy came up to us telling us that he likes to suck black dick and we were very concerned and ran away more pictures from mount spikemore goodness we took a lot of pictures from mount spikemore um this is when we were i'm pretty sure this was when we were on the ferris wheel um, which is the second fer biggest Ferris wheel in the world. This is Marcelli's birthday. I have food in my mouth, so I look very weird, and my hair is so... F oof. Um, don't ask what we were doing. It was four in the morning. We were the first ones there. This is was our coach. Um, all of the girls had a crush on him, and I didn't understand. It was kind of weird. I, don't, I didn't personally think he was cute, but okay. He, they kept asking me for words in Portuguese to tell him, and I was like, what? Because he's Brazilian. This was, again, on Marcelli's birthday, but this was in the morning-ish when we went to go get food. Me and the team again. Um, oh, this was us in D.C. at the White House. Eesh, my hair. My hair got really bad 
when I didn't brush it and stuff. This is kind of, I don't know if you can tell, I had like an ombre hair back then, but um, ombre, I did like dye, I dyed my hair ombre a little, but um, this was towards the end and it wasn't as visible. This is also in DC if you couldn't really tell. Um, oh, those are postcards. Okay, um, this is Mother's Day or my birthday. No, this one's Mother's Day. This, oh my gosh, this is so cool. So, um, it's in Manchester. Oh, I just touched it and I got it when I had, when there was Corona. Okay. Gotta be careful. Ah! Flip that. Crap. Gonna, no, should not use my scrunchie. That smells. I'm back. Haha. <laughs> Ew. Okay, so this is from Manchester. Um, when my sister went to England, this was like, I don't, not that long ago. She was just there. Um, it's the museum and it's pretty cool. She got to see dead, um, she got to see bones of dinosaurs and humans and I want to go there when I'm older, honestly. Okay, this one's actually such a cool place. Um, this is Thailand where I got um, some pretty snazzy pants with elephants on them. My sister went there um, a while ago, I think. I don't know when this was. That one, that was a... Okay, so this one, the Galapagos Islands. I got this for my birthday. Um, this is like near Ecuador, right? It is in Ecuador. Cool beans. This one's from DC. Who went to DC, what? When did my sister go to DC? Love how I don't even remember. New York, oh, my friend went to New York. My cat's eyes are orange in this picture, look at that. Okay, can you see? Can you see her eyes? They're orange and then that's me. Okay, putting this all back. This is such a good vlog so far, guys. Um. Valley, I will know if you watch this, if you tell me, okay, so tell me, what's something I want you to tell me? Oh, tell me about the hand sanitizer falling in me going crazy. I didn't go crazy, but okay. Tell me about that, and I will know if you watched it, the full thing. I think I should talk a little more because then you could just skip to the end and then see the end and then realize that I told you to say that. So I'm gonna keep this video going a little bit longer. I just realized I'm not wearing a bra and I just like, okay. Mm. So, okay, so that's my yearbook. Oh, can you see? That's my yearbook. This is a driving ed thing. This I got from this oh crap I got from this school that I never returned and I probably should really good book have not finished because depressing I bought it and I well let's just say I did not like it so I barely read any of it I love this book I got it from Kroger that's my calculator that's a fellow all my postcards I really need to fix it um this is a book I got from my mom I put stuff in there this is. What is this? Oh, it's a college. That was a close up. That was a. This is a college um, pro con list. And on. That's also where I write my feelings. <gasps> oh my god! I'm gonna. I'm gonna spill some stuff from my feelings jar. Um, this is like. I feel so nervous. What? Okay. Got my feelings jar with the glitter on this. I realized I haven't put anything in my feelings jar in the last couple of days. I actually want to put something there. But I, just want it. I know it, I like have it in my mind saying I'm going to put it there, but I just haven't yet. So I will. Um, okay. I'm going to grab it. And if it's way too much and too personal, I'm not going to read it. But okay. Ah, 
Claire called me asking for my opinion on some flowers to give to Lauren, her girlfriend. And um, I said yellow roses. I don't know why I said that. I'm like kind of rethinking that, but it seemed more of like a thing that Claire would get. And it made me feel really great because um, because normally Claire would call Catherine for stuff and they would like, I would kind of be left out because I'm like the youngest and now they're starting to tell me things that they wouldn't before because I'm older and like, yeah, but before like it would just be the two of them and then me and I'm like the baby sister that they would all like be like, oh, and then yeah. So that I really like, I don't know why, like she literally just FaceTimed me, um, it was in the middle of the night. She was at Kroger at like 11 o'clock and for us it was like one o'clock or something. And I was like, I answered obviously. And I was, I don't know, I really like that. Um, this one, Valley, um, I think I told you about this. I am confused, anthropology or surgery. I love them both so much. And I don't like not knowing because I have, I don't know, I have a huge like phobia of not knowing stuff. Oh my gosh, that face, I look like a maniac. I have a huge thing about not knowing stuff. It just gets me um, nervous and that's why I'm thinking of double majoring, majoring in. So I already want, there's a genealogy course at UGA that I want to major in, I guess. And then I'm, they also have anthropology. So I'm going to do a double major. I'm also going to try to do some research on, so while I'm in medical school, if I can do on, since like we're doing online courses, oh my gosh, stop making that face. I look like a crazy person. Since we're doing online courses now, um, like, you know, on Zoom, I thought maybe I could do an online, I don't know if it's possible, like, to get a bachelor's in anthropology. So, like, because I have a feeling that I'm going to get bored in medicine when I'm older, obviously not now. So, I have a feeling that, so I'm going to attempt to get my degree online for anthropology while doing medical school and it's going to take a lot longer than it usually would and it usually takes around seven years so it's fine i'll probably already be specialized in um like already have a specialty in surgery and be doing that but i that's what i plan to do because if i ever want to um Okay, so this is just a quote that really stuck out to me because it's from Bones. I wrote it down because like I kind of like relate to it. So like um, Angela said, you said you wanted to do this alone because feelings are ephemeral, which is something I say. I don't really know if I say it to you guys because I don't, I say I don't like feelings. And then um, Brennan says, emotional, um, Emotional ties are ephemeral and undependable, I agree with. And then um, Angela says, oh crap, so is life, Brennan. We're here one minute, then we're gone the next. If you keep living, trying to protect yourself, nothing ever is ever going to touch you. And um, I wrote that down because I always like, I don't like, Sorry, I hear a ringing. I think there's stress in my mind. So I wrote that down because I... Okay, I'm really glad these aren't so deep. Um, I wrote that down because I don't like feelings and i obvious, which is why I made my feelings jar. And um, like she was giving advice because I am I can relate a lot to Bones in this, the character because she doesn't like feelings. She's very, she thinks they're very independable. I agree with that. And she's also very awkward around humans, like around other people. She's like very socially awkward unless it's with like her close friends, which I relate to a lot. And so then when Angela said that, it just like stuck out to me. I was like, wow, okay. And that's kind of the reason why I started this feelings jar because I need to start somewhere with starting to get my feelings out. Um... Talking to Catherine made me feel great. I missed her so much. Um, baby M, I say baby M like, cause I have a feeling her name is Melissa, but they're not telling anyone. Baby M is kicking, is starting to kick. I cannot wait to see them. I miss them so much. 
So this was just when Catherine called me kind of in the middle of the night also. They always call me at the middle of the night. I don't know why, it's really like a lot. But I also like that because my favorite things is when I was younger, before I moved here, my friends and I would call each other at like three in the morning and we would just like have like deep conversations. Like not deep, yeah, it was deep and it was really nice. So it kind of reminded me of that because I like calling people rather than texting as much. And so I like it when they do that. And yeah, I wrote that down because I really enjoyed it. I'm not gonna do all of my feelings because damn, but I feel great even though y'all aren't gonna do this. Um, okay, this one's like not deep at all or personal. I was singing Hot Blooded and dancing like Valley suggested and it made me feel like free-ish kind of because I was kind of like um, not feeling that well and Alexa was playing and then she started playing Hot Blooded which is my favorite song by Foreigners and I just started my water almost fell. I just started like singing along and then I started pretending to play the guitar like that. It was very nice. I think I have more than one thing of me talking about hot blooded. Yeah, this one. Dancing to hot blooded like a psycho was really fun and it like I felt like I had a burden lifted off of me dancing like a psycho, which I actually did. Okay, I already said so many. I'm gonna do one more. Okay. Ah, uh, this one is not really... Okay, this one's like not as deep. It's another quote from Bones. And she says, are you going to betray me? And um, I wrote this down because I feel like one of my biggest problem is I always feel like people I can't trust people that's why I like being independent like I like doing things on my own I don't like I don't like trusting in people because I feel like they're always going to betray me I don't know I can't really remember I think that maybe I don't know the psychology of it but um so yeah I wrote that down because like I don't know it was something that like just stuck out to me because I always feel like someone's gonna betray me and I that's kind of like it's not like a, my biggest fear like I already said my biggest fear on my quiz but it's kind of like something I'm not scared of it's just something I avoid trusting people like I don't know that's why I like to do things myself that is why I don't trust people to like protect me in a sense that's why I did jujitsu for seven years that's why I like, I think that's why I started liking knives, because I felt like I needed to protect myself. And I just started, like, learning knives techniques and things that I would need. So, okay, I'm gonna just grab one more, see if I want to say it or not. I'm not gonna make it mandatory. Oh, this one's so stupid. Okay, and it it's so stupid, but, like, it, um, I don't know, it's weird. I told y'all that I did this kind of like when we were watching a video um, of what girls do and never admit to. I was the only one that said I do that and everyone else was like that was the only thing that I don't do and I didn't do anything that girl did. So I tried on one of my like dresses that would um, were kind of like big and flowy and then um, I, uh, I stuck this in there and pretended that I was pregnant. And not like pretended, I was just, just like looking what I would look like. I would do that a lot actually, I like doing that. And I put fancy makeup on and then um, I pretended like I was walking down like a red carpet, but not really, but like, I don't know. And um, yeah, I wrote that down. I don't know why I wrote that down, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna put these all back in. Yay. Okay, Valley, so if you watch this video, which is now like 30 minutes in, if you watch this video, you'll know some of my things and my feelings. And why do I keep saying Valley? I know I'm going to send this on Cougars. Cougars, is that the name? No, I feel like we changed the name. Gang Gang. Um, so I don't know why I keep saying Valley. It's because in Snapchat, she kept telling me to, she was like, if you're this bored, go to Google Vlog. So that's why I keep saying her name, but it's for all of y'all. 
also so i'm watching one of my shows and one of the guys from guys he's from texas he's like very texan and i don't know why but he, he's like made me want to have a texan friend which is stupid because i'm not friends with any of my family from texas not really at all because i don't like them <laughs> um but because they're snobby but most people from texas are really nice like oh i used to have a best friend that like when i went to visit my grandmother she was in texas oh it was so fun but i want a friend from texas and yeah i don't know i don't know why i felt like i had the need to share that let's see anything more deep and personal wait a second i remember i was really like kind of like really depressed not really depressed this was like not so long ago i was like very sad about something during math class and you know like i was about to start crying during math where did i write it i started writing my stuff hold on let me see if it was too deep and too personal I know Valley saw me. She was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, what are you doing? Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, I wrote two things. Oh gosh. Different days all in the month of February. So I was not, I was obviously not feeling the best in February. Um, I feel like I've given up on school. Yeah. In February was a very bad time for me because I, I don't know, I just completely given up on the schoolwork and I was like I don't I didn't even care if I was failing I was like honestly I can get an F on this and I'm not even gonna cry I don't care um I want to go back home and I just want to be with my sisters I'm like skipping some lines because some of them are just a little too much outside my door um i feel like an outsider like i don't belong um that's funny i actually for the first time in my life don't feel like that i always felt like that sorry i got a notification i used to always feel like that i like i didn't belong like i was the outsider of the group i actually used to feel like that after vanya left i felt like i was gonna be the next one but now i feel like it's more my view even I always felt like I was gonna, she, I, I don't know, I like get kicked out, not like kicked out, but like, you know, like Vanya. Um, I see something about Brazil. Oh, I used to think of myself as always someone who gave up on things until I moved to Brazil. That's when I became like confident in myself. Except I just found out that my dad thinks that I'll give up before um, becoming a surgeon and that really hurt me and yeah that's because like all my parents are actually surprising me now because before I moved here my grades were really bad I was like a straight C student um I gave up on almost everything I almost quit volleyball so many times because I was just I couldn't do it, take it anymore. I started crying at a tournament because I was like, I can't do this anymore. I don't want to be here. And because like, I was never in with the other teammates. Like I only had a couple of friends on the volleyball team. Um, like I said, I never felt, I've always felt like an outsider. And yeah. Um, I was writing about the end of the second semester and this was early February. What was I thinking? I was like, the end of the second semester is coming up. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, this was, um, this is depressing because um, high school is coming to an end soon, kind of, and school's been going by very fast. And then I was saying, uh, Catherine and Claire always tell me that the friends you make in high school stay with you for life. And I always, I always thought that was true because like I, I'm always hanging out with them and their friends from high school. And so I was like, wow. And then I was like, I feel like this is a different situation since this is an international school. Um, and like, uh, we're not gonna be like I'm not gonna keep my friends that much when we go to college 
And I was like, what? And then, I am very grateful for Claire making the suggestion that I moved to Brazil in the first place because I'm very lucky to have y'all as friends and I'm very happy that I met you guys. Okay, I don't want that to be the last thing because I'm guessing y'all are gonna skip through this because this is almost the length of a TV show. Jeez. So if you skip through it, you're probably only gonna watch the end. What am I gonna say? I don't know what to do. If I make it where you guys don't skip to the end and just see the ending. Oh, okay. I'll show you one of my favorite quotes. I got this as a present um, when I went back to Atlanta last summer. Anna gave it to me. Can you read it or is it backwards? It's backwards. So this says, good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they are always there. I really like that quote because, well, yeah. My cat still has not woken up. And I've been, I don't know, I haven't been that loud actually, so. Okay, well I have to pee, so bye. Thanks for watching, and I'm pretty sure you didn't even watch through the whole thing.